it's me Shani and today I'm going to be doing the makeup stories tag and this was originally created by the kitten choreographer and Sky the Cloud and I follow Sky and I really liked her video on this they kind of created it and it's just kind of telling stories about certain makeup products and I don't know I love I love storytelling I love that kind of stuff so I thought this would be really fun to do so I'm here doing it and I hope you guys enjoy so before I get started I just wanted to just tell you what's on my eyes and my lips in case you were wondering I used the Ace Beauté Oceanic palette again in my last video I did use this as well but um it was in my March shop my stash so I had to use it a couple I had to use it three times um but I did this really nice green look um that I don't know I'm enjoying and I used algae seaweed jellyfish turtle and I don't know what how to pronounce this one but I used a lot of the greens here and yeah I enjoyed using this one and I also used the LA girl shockwave neon liner in gotcha as my liner today in my waterline so that was kind of fun as well and for my lips I used from a boxy charm I got this Saint Lux love letter lip liner so I used that today with my elf retro paradise lip gloss in a moment so I paired those two together so yeah that's just if you were wondering what's on my face um, I also have the um, Anastasia Luminous Foundation on the Beauty Bakery Powder, Maybelline Concealer, Ofra Highlight, NARS Orgasm Blush, you know, just a random array of things. But let's get into the video and yeah, so the first question or the first prompt is funniest story relating to a makeup item. and. Some of these I guess I could have changed around, but this is what came to mind. It is the Glam Light Cake palette I got over the summer, and I am just the type that loves any excuse to buy an eyeshadow palette, or like if I'm, I don't know, if I'm sad, or if I'm upset, or if something happens, or if something good happens, I always like want to buy an eyeshadow palette. It's the weirdest thing, and I actually did get my wisdom teeth out this past summer, during quarantine time, um, I get, well, I mean, it was in August, but it was still, still time where nobody was really doing anything, and I don't know, I was just very nervous for getting put under for the <laughs> wisdom tooth surgery. I was really nervous. I was getting all four out, and I ended up buying this for myself, and I had it, like, it was coming right after the surgery or something, and so I was really excited I just needed something to look forward to and it's a gorgeous palette it just I don't know I thought the rainbowness the the beautifulness of it would make me excited and happy and I did put this on while I was super super puffy and like crazy from the surgery so yeah I thought this was a funny story that I purchased this um, and put it on my puffy face <laughs> put it on my eyes when I had a puffy face because of my wisdom teeth it was just an excuse to purchase this palette and my parents and my boyfriend was over at the time and they were just like what is your problem you order a palette because you got your wisdom teeth out like it was just it was very funny so that's number one number two is best memory related to a makeup item and I have to say the subculture palette from Anastasia what happened here is I went to TJ Maxx with my boyfriend and my brother and we it was like right around Easter time two years ago actually and we it was like such a fun weekend I have a lot of memories from that weekend we um, my dad is in a band and we went to see him play and we were with family and it was just such a fun time and I was just I don't know I was having a great weekend and a great time and then we were at TJ Maxx, which I love TJ Maxx, or maybe it was Marshall, Marshall's, I'm not sure, and we stumbled upon this palette, like I went to the makeup section, and I had never seen Anastasia palettes in TJ Maxx, I was just like so blown away, and I really wanted to try this palette, because I think the color story is just 
so gorgeous and I don't know I was just I was just happy with life I was happy with my family my friends and I and I was just well not my friends my family and my boyfriend and I just saw this and I was so excited it was twenty dollars originally these are what fifty dollars I was just so excited to find it and I was just happy with life and everything and I was just so pumped and my boyfriend has a picture of me with it like so excited and my brother was laughing my boyfriend was laughing because I was just over the moon so happy to find this and um, later on it became way more accessible like uh, my TJ Maxx had it as well but this was like I was kind of out of town so it was a different TJ Maxx so I was just so excited to find this and buy it and my, my brother actually bought it for me for Easter because um, it was Easter weekend and he bought it for me and he was like you know what <laughs> I'll buy it even though it was twenty only twenty dollars I was just so excited and I feel like we still like look at that picture of me where I was so excited and my brother and my boyfriend laugh about it so yeah this is a good memory and um, I think about it sometimes when I use this palette we were just laughing really hard Next is pet related makeup story. I couldn't think of anything totally specific, but my cat from home, my parents' cat, Monkey, she would always jump on the back of my chair while I was doing makeup. I had one of those rolly chairs, um, and she would jump and just kind of sit on the chair behind me, and it was just, I don't know, when I thought of this, it made me, <laughs> my heart ache for her because I don't live with her anymore. I, you know, I moved out of my parents' house, but... I love Monkey and I love that she would sit with me <laughs> behind me sometimes when I did my makeup and it made me sad too because I got a different chair. Um, I realized I got a different chair that was like skinnier and I feel like maybe she stopped doing that just because I got a new chair. <laughs> so that makes me sad but anyways that's a pet related makeup story for sure. She would like love to hang out with me and even still even when I got a new chair and she didn't sit with me as much she would always sit in the room with me and in the morning and that's definitely a favorite for sure a pet related makeup story uh the next one is your best how i bought this story this one's really funny this is gonna go to the melt mirte palette this is such such a beautiful limited edition palette i'm so sorry if you didn't get your hands on it because <laughs> i love the color story i love everything about this palette but the funny part about this was this was actually Thanksgiving, not this past Thanksgiving, but the Thanksgiving before. It was coming out for Black Friday, and on Thanksgiving, I was with my family, and then I went to my brother's house, uh, my brother's apartment, and we stayed the night, just me and him, and we were up until like literally 2 or 3 in the morning, just catching up and talking, and it was just such a great time. Like We hadn't seen each other in a long time, and we were just catching up and we stayed up really late and then we got up really early in the morning to go Black Friday shopping and we were so tired. I was tired. I was out of it and <laughs> from lack of sleep and then I went into Sephora at the mall with him and I saw this palette and I was so excited because it literally, it literally had just come out. Like it was that day that it came out in stores and I was like so excited to see it in person and I literally started crying I was like bawling my eyes out and my brother was just dying laughing he's like what is wrong with you like and I was just like this palette like it's so gorgeous <laughs> look at it and it's it's the first day that it's out and he was like oh my gosh like you're crazy and we were just laughing so hard that I was crying <laughs> and he was like you have to buy it like it was $60 I think or $58 and he was like, you have to buy it. You're like too excited to not buy it. And so I bought it and we still like laugh about how I was crying in Sephora. And I think it was because of lack of sleep, but also I was just so excited to see this in person. And yeah, so this was pro this is probably like my best how I bought this story because, you know, it was such a great memory being up all night with my brother hanging out and talking and also crying in Sephora. It was just, it was just too good, too funny. Um, number five is your biggest makeup mishap. And this I thought about for a little while. I would say my worst makeup 
mishap is I used to not wear foundation on my nose. I didn't like how foundation looked on my nose, so I just kind of avoided the nose. And I feel like that probably looked so weird. Like, I don't know if I have any pictures. I'll have to look and roast myself but I would just avoid the nose and I feel like you have to put some like it was just the weirdest thing so that would be my makeup mishap is I would just not put foundation or any makeup on my nose and I feel like I feel like that had to look weird <laughs> I don't know but yep then next one is story of the oldest product in your collection I think it would have to be my modern renaissance palette from Anastasia this is pretty old I feel like I got it in 2015 or 2016 but I absolutely love this palette I bought it from Sephora I think like my senior year of high school or junior year or something and I was just so excited it was like one of my first high-end palettes and pretty much I mean not one of my first but like it felt like a game changer because everyone was talking about it and I was just so excited I have two pans in it and I'm about to have more pans in it I feel like if I used it more I absolutely love this palette my favorite look was burnt orange in the crease primavera on the lid and red ochre on the outer corner but absolutely love this palette and it's just I don't know it's very special to my heart I've talked about it before because I did wear it to my high school graduation I wore it to my first day of college my first date with my boyfriend so it's just, I don't know, it holds special memories to me because in a time where, I don't know, a lot of things were happening. I was a senior in high school, all these things were happening, my last musical, my last this and that, and then my first, a lot of firsts for college, it just was there for me through it all and I absolutely loved it and I really, I just felt really confident every time I wore it and I had my go-to looks with it, so it was just my go-to palette. And yeah, this is my oldest palette, I think, in my collection that I've kept around. Um, next is the story of your favorite makeup product. And this was kind of hard, but I decided to go with the It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop. I just absolutely love the shades in here and the shade Earthshine I'm about to hit pan on. It is so beautiful. And just all these shades, I absolutely love the purple pinky vibes of it and the the story of this is I actually I actually was really excited to try ColourPop. I wanted to, I think I had two palettes from them previous to this one, but I actually was on Instagram next to my boyfriend and I saw the Blue Moon palette and I was like, oh my god, like I need, like I was like freaking out about how beautiful this palette was because I had never really seen an all blue palette that was like this this gorgeous and it like totally spoke to me and I was just so excited when they revealed it on their Instagram and my boyfriend was like calm down like I was freaking out and he was just like go buy it like I'll buy it for you and I was like on the website and I was trying to decide between this one and a few other palettes and he let me buy all three of the palettes I wanted I wanted the blue moon the it's my pleasure and the sweet talk which also oh my gosh this palette I was so pumped for and so I don't know this is just a favorite memory of some favorite palettes of mine like all three of these palettes became such big favorites I still reach for every single one of them today and so it was just oh I dropped it it was just such a such a nice gesture that he was like I'm gonna buy you all these like you need to just stop I was like no you know saying no a bunch of times but he he wanted to do it for me and like I was so excited when they came in I was so excited when we ordered them and it was just something he wanted to do to make me happy and it was I don't know it was just so nice and so I remember that day really clearly and he's just the sweetest and he will do this type type of stuff for me but this this one was like kind of a random like it wasn't my birthday it wasn't our anniversary it was just me freaking out about this palette and then wanting the other ones and I don't know it was just really sweet so that's a really nice memory I have of that uh, number eight is story related to a makeup brand I would say Il Maquillage when they gave me $200 to spend on their website that was like 
such a big moment for me. I was so excited and I do have a few products uh, from them. This foundation I absolutely love. The Woke Up Like This foundation. I got this lip cream, the Longwear Matte Infinity Lip Cream I got. And then some lip liners. I used up the setting spray I used um, that, that, that I got, but I got some brushes. I got a ton of really great stuff and that was just such a great I don't know thing for me that was like my first the first time a brand like reached out and and let me do that and Il Maquillage is pretty big I feel like I I do follow them and I feel like they are pretty popular so to do that to get these products for free was really really exciting for me so that is definitely a fun story for me um, number nine product that sparked joy in a dark time I would have to say the Fairy Blush Palette from Likely Makeup. My boyfriend actually got this one for me as well and it's like super fun colorful blushes and this one is like my absolute favorite, Sunstone, but the other ones are fun and crazy too and it's just such beautiful packaging also. Like I don't know if you can tell, it's literally gorgeous with like the bat and the fairy and the snake and the snake's over, where's the snake? right here like it's just so beautiful but anyways I really wanted this and my boyfriend did buy it for me because I was on the fence about it and I was like no I don't I don't need any more makeup and he bought it for me actually while we were doing long distance he was in Virginia and I was way far away and, and we we I don't know it was just a really rough time for me being without him at school when I was so used to being with him at school and you know, the long distance is just never, it was just never easy and I was really going through it and kind of depressed and um, this, I don't know, I remember being so excited that he bought it for me and that I, like, I didn't know he bought it for me so when it came, I was just so excited and using it really brought joy and then the whole world shut down and everything was crazy right around that time and so, you know, with the pandemic, so... Yeah, I remember this <laughs> helping me through a pretty dark time. And lastly is your favorite story with an indie with indie makeup and I have to give it to the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess palette. This is gorgeous. It's such a pretty neutral palette and I absolutely love Lunar Beauty's formula. And the story with this guy is um I actually got this for Valentine's Day with from my boyfriend. I know a lot about my boyfriend in this video. <laughs> um he bought this for me for our very first Valentine's Day and I had no idea he was going to do that and uh, he got flowers and chocolates and this palette and I was just so excited to have it and every time I used it I thought about him buying it for me and it was just so nice and um, I don't know I just have very fond memories of it and yeah so that is my favorite little story with a indie makeup product. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, I would love to hear your makeup stories down below if you have any anything that you thought of from these little prompts. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram, uh, Shake It Makeup Shan, where I post a lot of makeup and hair stuff there. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.